Oh, oh, you already recorded? Yeah, it's going, yeah. And like always, you can make like 90 takes. You can go ahead and cut it all, so. Alright. Hey world, this is Christian Hype here with Christian Barber. Usually it's him doing the interviewing, but now we're flipping it. So, Christian, we just want to know a little bit about you. I just want to know how you got involved with the Charlotte Women's Basketball team here. Okay, uh, funny story actually. Uh, I was playing dodgeball my freshman year upstairs, and uh, Amaya Ransom and Sierra Gregory saw me playing dodgeball, asked me to be a practice player. I was a practice player for a week, they asked me to be a manager, and the rest is history. So, shout out to dodgeball. Shout out to dodgeball. So, speaking of Amaya, she's been here for the last three, four years, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you probably know her better than most of everybody here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about her? How do you see her growth in basketball and her as a person? Uh, I feel like I've seen her grow a ton over the past few years um, from someone who didn't play much or, or do much uh, her sophomore year when I was here as a freshman. She was more of just a backup guard, someone there to give energy to now emerging as uh, you know, one of the star players on the team, one of the people we look to most to contribute. And I feel like she's really embraced that role and grown every year, whether it be her jump shot, ball handling, just basketball IQ. I've seen her grow uh, tremendously from being a, you know, ninth, tenth man to the first, second option on the team. So it's been really fun to watch. Great. That's awesome. Piggybacking on that, were you ever nervous? about joining the Charlotte Women's Basketball team as a practice player, just joining the whole entire family? Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> when I was first asked to be a practice player, I didn't know what that was. I didn't know that existed. And I had to go home and be like, Mom, I don't know if I'm getting scammed. I don't know what's happening. Like, I, I had talked to people, and once I got in there in the gym, yeah, I was nervous the first few days. It was high energy, and I was the, the new guy. But uh, it turned out to be uh, one of the best opportunities of my life of enjoyed it so much but yeah definitely nervous and confused at first didn't even know what it was so well most of y'all don't know but Christian does a really good job as a practice player and he's not nervous no more that's very <laughs> obvious all right a little bit of questions about you so most people if y'all don't know this Christian knows how to dance he actually likes to dance right he danced in Times Square how would you tell us about that experience and about the New York attention and how that was um, to start, I like to dance. Doesn't mean I can dance. I just uh, am willing <laughs> to. Dance. He's I'm willing to. But uh, it was a lot of fun. I just went out there in the middle and just started going. And you just gotta, I think you just gotta go for it. I had my brother there to dance with me, and just like in practice, when everyone dances, you just gotta dance like you're with the team or with your friends. And some people liked it, and a few people uh, enjoyed it and cheered us on. So I didn't get any tips. That would have been cool, but it was fun. I think you just gotta go for it. That's cool. That's cool. Outside of practice playing and dancing, is there anything else that you do, you know, that most people don't know? Uh, I mean, that most people won't know, probably not. My life's actually pretty simple. I kind of come here and go home and don't do much else. I do a lot of exercising. I play some video games on the side. But to be honest with you, my life is not very interesting. If you followed me around all day, <laughs> you would be bored. I just show up, do what I do, go home, do some homework, and relax. Uh, Nothing, nothing crazy out of the normal. Well, you know, not to hang out with Christian Barber. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so, Christian, what's your favorite thing to eat? And then on top of that, where's your favorite place to eat? Uh, hands down, Qdoba. Uh, it's been my favorite for far too many years. Uh, and the three cheese nacho at Qdoba. And don't get all the crazy stuff. Don't get like corn and pico and all that stuff. Just get chicken, cheese, sour cream. Just nice, good nachos, three cheese nacho, Qdoba. I've practically funded the building. I've eaten two in <laughs> one day. I've gone twice in one day. It's a shame to admit, but Qdoba, hands down. It's my meal of choice. Over anything, anything, I want Qdoba. Okay. Had cool. it for my birthday once. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's great. where I wanted to go. Okay, cool. <laughs> also, most people know Christian. He's always clean cut. Fre I mean, clean cut, fresh, everything like that. So. What is one thing that always has to be on point that you waste 20 minutes in the bathroom making sure that I can't leave the house if this is not looking nice? Definitely my hair. Uh, I, I would spend a lot of time on my hair. It's <laughs> got to be uh, just right. I have multiple times put stuff in my hair, washed it out, put stuff in my hair. Hair is definitely the one thing that's got to be on point. I really like the shoes too, but I don't think you need a lot of time with that. It's just making yeah. the right decision, but the, the time definitely goes into the hair, hair no okay. doubt, I, I'll admit it. Nice, yeah. nice. How do you feel like the NBA is going to be this year with 
almost every team now having somebody that they got these big three. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be much more interesting than it's been in the past. I think the Warriors are still going to steamroll everybody. I don't think anyone's done enough for that. But I'm a huge Paul George fan. So okay. I hope, I hope uh, Oklahoma City can make a run. But I think it's going to be a little more interesting. At least we got a chance for something different. But I think it'll still be Warriors, Cavaliers in the finals. I don't think anything has changed personally. But it's fun to shake it up. Right. You know, and if there's anyone out there that needs an extra roster spot, you know, <laughs> I might declare after this year. So, you know, with just with so many pieces moving. You know how great his college career was. Yeah. Like, it was just, amazing. With so, <laughs> with so many pieces moving, yeah. I'm available. Great. Do you watch the WNBA? I do, some, yeah. I watched the WNBA Finals. You did? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the Finals and the championship? I thought it was very good. I thought it was very competitive. And having those same teams meet for so many years is kind of like a Warriors Cavaliers on the women's side. And I think it's really starting to build some hype. And players like Maya Moore is just, I mean, phenomenal. I wish, I, I, I wish, I want to go practice against them. Like, I want to know what it would feel like to be a practice player against the Lynx. You know, I've always thought how interesting that would be. but. Maya Moore and Candace Parker and all of them, it's, uh, I think it's really starting to really grab some traction and get some people's attention. So I, I definitely think it's becoming very interesting and entertaining to watch for sure. You got to know a little bit about Christian Barber, the interviewer, practice player. What a great man he is. World, stay fresh, always stay clean, think smart. Nice. Dude, she's I feel like